All right, here we've got a 2001 Rancher four-wheeler and we're doing a little bit of electrical troubleshooting on it. So we just wanted to show you what, what we found. We pulled the battery out because it's completely dead and we've got this jumper pack hooked up to it. Um, these four-wheelers are, I think, some of the first ones that actually have the fuse box in here. Uh, if you've got an older, slightly older one like this, you might just have a couple of fuse like pouches. I don't really know what else to call them. But depending on your, your uh, model, you're going to have some sort of fused box or pouch that you can check. Now this one has everything labeled, so if we look at what these actually each do, um, this 15 amp is a light, this 15 amp is a fan, um, this 10 amp, which was actually um, burnt in our case, is I think the accessories, and then a 10 amp ignition, and then we've got three spares here. I don't know what that thing is. I think it's just a diode to make sure the current flows through it correctly but if you know what this thing is comment down below and explain it to me and then we have a 30 amp main fuse so when you've got power here you should have between here and um, the negative you should have 12 volts there and once it goes through the main it actually goes all the way up to the ignition switch we're pretty sure and then when you turn your ignition switch on, it'll send power back down. And then you should have 12 volts at each of these. Um, and of course, you need to check and make sure all your fuses are good. So I'll show you how we check that. Um, I'm just using my standard electrical tester here. And I always just put it in continuity mode. And then I just run across the tops of all the fuses to make sure that they have continuity. And that's how we found the one that was dead here. Um, the next problem is when you actually turn this four-wheeler on and press the switch, you don't get any um, starting. So you can come back here to the starting solenoid, and oftentimes, um, if you're not sure if it's a problem with the starter or the solenoid, I'll just take something like this and short directly across. If you short directly across and your starter is running, obviously your starter is fine and it's some issue with either the solenoid or the solenoid coil. The solenoid has just a coil in here and when you send power to that coil it closes a switch and sends power down directly to the starter. So one more little thing I wanted to add about the solenoids, I actually came out to my four-wheeler here. If your switch is working and your solenoid is working but your um, starter is not, you'll actually hear this thing click when you press the start button and so if I turn this on and you go right by it, you hear that click? I'm just barely tickling it, but you can see that debris kind of bounces around on there. If it's clicking and drawing some amperage, it's probably an issue with the actual starter. But if it's clicking and it's a bad like terminal connection inside of here, then it'll still crank when you stick a knife on there or something. And if you do stick a knife on there and you get lots of sparks, you know, like what we're seeing right there, but it doesn't crank over, that is also an indication that it's actually your starter that is bad or stuck um, and not an issue with the solenoid. So this is the wire that's actually powering that coil. So we've just got it unplugged here. The connections in there don't look super dirty, so we think that they're actually working fine. Um, and if you check in continuity and you get an open lead here, then it's probably bad. You can see we're getting 3.8 volts. So this coil isn't like completely dead, maybe just the solenoid is like stuck. In any case, when we plug it in and press the starter, it does nothing. By the way, too, how you actually unhook this, it's mounted in here. But there's a little piece you gotta push out and pull up to get that off. And then right here you have to flex this little clip out before you can unplug it. There it goes. So what we're gonna do to figure out if it's actually this switch or if it's the starter solenoid is check for voltage across these two pins here. And when we press on the starter button, you can see we're getting 12 volts to there. So the starter solenoid should be closing, but even with this plugged in and pressing the button, we're getting nothing. So clearly, um, as far as we can tell, it's actually an issue with this solenoid coil 
they're like four or five bucks i'll link to one down in the description um just order one of those and replace that as long as you've got power here then you should be good to go in the meantime if you want to start it you can just use you know a knife or something turn the ignition on and run it like that till it starts i think we gotta do some other stuff with the gas before this one's gonna go here and i really have not actually seen these switches go bad I'm sure that they do go bad, but I've never seen it. I've seen lots of those solenoid coils go bad. I've seen lots of starters go bad. I think it, actually, I think that my brother had to replace this on his once, but personally, I've never had to mess with the actual starter. For some reason, these buttons work really good. And then the only other thing I wanted to mention is this kill switch here. If this is in an off position, either direction, usually I think it still cranks if it's in a no start position. Yeah, it still cranks but it's not actually gonna start um, anyway hope that this helps you out and uh, we should have this thing going pretty quickly here so talk to you later